Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Trouble here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Rolling Hills map. And if you guys want to go check out the next episode, we're going to be cleaning everything up from today, maintaining some stuff. We're going to go through the whole shed here and maintain everything, get it all repaired. Since we have some money and we might actually buy Field 20. And I don't know what the... if it is fertilized or growing. Looks like a stage 2 or stage 1 growth but for today we're gonna be doing 21 and if you guys want to go see that my channel there's a little bubble up here go ahead and click that and go over to my channel and subscribe if not it's in the description so what we're gonna do we're gonna fire up the combine now it is washed because I had to wash it for the thumbnail for yesterday's video and I didn't save it before I washed it so that's why it is like that and we're actually gonna put it away along the shed here kind of park the wagons in the way and we will unhook it hook up to the other header we'll probably take the other header to town go and drop that off right there yeah we'll take the other header to town get it repaired so that we can go six mile an hour instead of five and also to just get it repaired that way it's a little better of a header we can sell it for a little more too in case we move maps we might go to a different map we'll see But we'll go ahead and take her into the shop at 19 mile an hour. We might get a little fuel too. I'd like to just run out of fuel just to see what it do. In fact, actually I'm curious to see what else is low on fuel. We'll just run it out of fuel. The combine's the lowest, so I think I might just run the combine out. And actually in... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and fill it up. Just so I don't have to uh, worry about that. And I won't repair the combine. I'll repair it at the end of the year. Just because I want to see what it's like to have it all the way down, what the wear stuff shows up and all that. Kind of a, if those get all shiny or what happens. So we'll go ahead and take her into the shop and get it repaired. So here we are at the shop. We got a little bit of fuel left. We're going to go ahead and just fill it up. Just because I don't think it'll last very long. Hopefully this is the header and it's not. We just have to like drop the headers off and then move it or like the implement to drop it off. Repair, 400 bucks, three operating hours, it's six days old. The combine's probably six days old, and it has 10, it has 11 operating hours on it. Pretty close to 11. And we'll pull over the fuel barrel, fill it up, we'll see how much fuel costs. It's probably pretty high, we we'll just hit that with the header there. Try and turn it, come on, there we go. Normally, you probably wouldn't do that with a real fuel machine, with real life, with fuel and a machine like that. I'll wait to switch it. Oh, okay, we're getting fuel. It's hard to tell because the gauge doesn't do nothing. Hold on, pull up and back up. Start filling. There we go. And there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and let it get all fueled up for the year we're gonna see how much fuel costs and we'll put another 10 hours on this machine and have to fuel it again so half a tank shouldn't cost too much okay so we're all full looks like about a thousand dollars in fuel I don't know how many gallons that is I'm curious to see how many gallons of diesel it holds not a whole lot 900 liters a thousand liters which is pretty high I guess I don't know the conversion. And I wonder what the def does. Because there is no, like, def tank. I'm actually going to go this way. It's a little shorter. But there's no, like... There's no, like, def tank. So I wonder if it just kind of, like, automatically fuels it. Or if it's just one of those things where... It says it has 50 gallon... Or 50 liters of def in it. And then it just kind of, like... If you run out, then it just is the same. I don't know what, I don't know, because you don't see, like, the icon anywhere on the def tank and all that. So I wonder if there is, like, an icon for, like, the, but you don't fuel it separate either. You just fill the machine and it's good to go. So it makes you wonder, like, what, if it's just in there as a, another thing to mod or what's going on with that. So that's the field that we might buy if we get 100,000. We should get close. I don't know if we'll get the entire amount. 
we're actually almost to the field here. So we have a little tree. We probably should go through and cut these trees, honestly. Cut them, grind the stumps, grind the stumps in our yard. Get them all out. Pull in here. Start harvesting. We're going to do the ends. I think we'll go back and forth twice on the ends. Get them all off. And then hire a worker going up and down. And then we'll get the gravity wagons in here. And get them full, hopefully. Alright, so we got that little bit there all done. We're going to go ahead and start going back and forth. We'll go get the gravity wagons. Get it running since we got the end picked out. That way he doesn't have to turn around in the ditch. And he should get this all, hopefully. I don't think he'll leave a skip. Get the Duramax to wash. Where is... There's the wagons. Jumping in. And we'll go ahead and take it to the field here. The old 4650. The DMI 400. 19 mile an hour. So this tractor is actually in pretty good shape. Considering it's only got two hours on it. And it's full of fuel and the maintenance is pretty good. Now the trailers do need washed. Looks like everything just kind of gets dirty a little bit like that. We're going to go ahead and take it to the field. Probably take it to the bottom and unload the combine right now. So he can hopefully do like half this field. Well, I'd love for him to get full quicker, but on beans, on soybeans, he usually don't. Alright, so the combine made a few rounds. He's pretty much full. We're going to go ahead and get him unloaded on this round because I don't think he can make another down and back with all that. So we'll get him unloaded. He does unload a little slow. Uh, that's just the way this combine is made. It's just made so that it runs pretty slow. Like it does. And so I think what we're going to plant in these two fields, I think we're going to rotate like the, this bean field and the corn field over there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically flip flop them unless I buy this field. And then I'll grow all three crops, wheat, beans, and corn. But for now, we're just going to flip-flop beans and corn until we get another field. And then that field across the road there, that'll be like our test field. So we'll grow like canola, um, oilseed radish. We might do that one of these times. I know some of you guys, well, I don't know if anybody's done it yet. We have oilseed radish. We have oats. We could do oats again. Canola. There's lots of things like sugar beets. We could do them. Sugar cane, I probably won't do that. I'll probably do that in a different episode. I know a few of you want to see that, but Nick did some of that, so I don't think I will. Just because sugar cane takes forever, and it's kind of a pain, to me anyway. So, so yeah, we're going to hopefully get these two wagons full of soybeans. Shouldn't take too terribly long. We're actually going to jump in the 89. Fire it up. And the reason why is because, well, one, we need re maintenance. You can see the door, like, on the side, it's all, like, on the ladder. It's all wear spots right there. Open that up. Now, I don't know why the lights stay on like that. Like, the lights stay on solid like that. I don't really like to take thumbnails of it like it. So that's why some of you guys... Sometimes see the 89, but not all the time. And if it is, it's usually in the background. It's kind of neat. He puts his hand up there. Which is cool. So yeah, we have to plow this field here. So this is a subsoiler, so it plows and it cultivates. And we'll probably do that, this field over here too. And we might as well just start up here on the flat. I think we'll just hire out a worker. We actually got to adjust the worker on this implement because it doesn't go the full speed the full length I should say it does like it does your 6.5 meters and it's like a 10 meter implement 10 meter machine so it does like half its width so as you can see there harvested goes to cultivated and the plowed goes to nothing and then also we have to lime this field do we have any other tractors? Yes, we do. This case, 7210. So we have this. We're going to go ahead and 
go spread some fertilizer. We need to spread it on the grass hay. I'm gonna go get the grass, and I think we're actually about out. Yes, we are. So I think we'll actually go lime, lime that other field. We'll go ahead and use up our pallets here. We might actually just get a full load, we'll see. Because even though it's a small field, it'll probably take a full load or a half a load to get all of it to finish the field with lime. We'll see. We'll put what we got in and go spread and see how much we have left. I'm guessing we'll be able to make a pass from the bottom to the top. Not entirely sure though. And I do have this dry spreader. Now if you guys want me to get it, it doesn't do lime but I can make it so it does. It's a pretty neat one. Really high dollar. 140000 your beacons and all that, but 140,000 is pretty high dollar, and I might bump it down a little bit. Or if you guys want me to cheat in the money, let me know. I like to keep things so that you don't cheat in money and stuff like that. Really wish GPS mod was out right now. It'd be nice and handy. We actually should repair this spreader too. We might do that real quick since we're right next to the shop. We'll wait till we get a round, our first round made. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll use this out. We'll uh, go over to there, to the shop, and we'll pull up, repair it, and we'll work our way around, unless we run out of dry first, or lime. We're getting close to running out, hopefully we can finish this, I'm gonna try to, with that little bit there. Went ahead and got that corner finished. Actually, I think we can drive through the trees. We'll go ahead and drive through them, like such. Get it repaired, looks like we do have some seed, some herbicide. Herbicide tank still there. Could buy some more lime, but we do have some at the house. So we'll get that repaired, we'll go ahead and head back to the house. We might as well just fill it up and whatever we have left, we can spread somewhere else or just store it because lime pretty much stores forever so yeah take it back to the house now okay so we're gonna pull up here i'm gonna go ahead and fill it should fill maybe possibly get it closer still isn't filling what the heck maybe we have to be on this side we'll back up close to it we can get it to fill might have to pop the top too. Uh, there, yeah, you have to open it up. Then you can start filling. I guess I didn't know that. Kind of want a big old hillside. Those little tires probably shouldn't be carrying all this weight either. Should put the bigger, bigger floaters on the wide tires like these. And them actually kind of look. They're a little wide. A little too wide. Well, maybe not. Yeah, they're a little wide. They come out past the step. In real life, they don't. Or I guess you can. It's probably good. Go ahead and shut the lid. Shut the lid before it all flies out. Might as well unfold it. And let's go check on the combine. It's only got 8,000. We'll go ahead and get him unloaded. Just so that we don't have to... Don't forget about him. And... We'll probably end up catching him about the time that he is done with the row because his auger takes a little while to get out. So I'm guessing we're going to have two loads off this field. I'm guessing two full wagons for sure. Actually, yeah, two full wagons and a combine load. So two full wagons and then a wagon. Either a full wagon or a half a wagon. Not sure yet. Probably a full wagon based on what's in there I'll pretty much fill this half full and then he can do a few rounds maybe yeah probably a full wagon that's what I'm thinking so three full wagons in this field will be done and we'll probably just call it quits there we'll see because one of these times we won't catch him and then he'll be completely full and then I won't be able to store it all yeah, we'll call that good. So 21,000. Not bad. We'll go ahead and drive down here. 
a little ways so that we can start again soon we'll drive like halfway and the 89 see what I mean by like half its width starts there cultivates like half of it like I said I need to get that fixed I just keep forgetting until I pull it out of the shed and then I'm like oh yeah so we'll start this up should be unfolded we'll go ahead and get this lime spread maybe one of these times get that trailer full we're gonna go ahead and get all this this field spreaded hopefully with the load we got on and should work out good here okay so all we got is that little bit so I'll probably only put like 400 in the most maybe 300 I don't know we'll see probably four probably a minimum of 400 We'll try, we'll try to put like five in, 500 in. So we'll go ahead and fill up with like 500 or so, 600, good enough. Just put a thousand in, just to call it good. And we'll head back and try and get it spread out. Alright, so here we go, 500 in. I think we're going to come out pretty close. Really close. Fill those in like that. We got 209 left. Can we finish that with 209? I don't know. I'll be close. We'll see. There we go. Go ahead and spread it here. All done spreading. Got nine left over. That's good. I like to see that. I'm going to go ahead and park this up the hill because we'll be using it a lot for fertilizing. We have to fertilize everything once and probably twice just because the planter uses so much. It's just easier to put it on with the spreader. Parked out there. I'll go ahead and jump in this. We'll go ahead and get the combine unloaded when he gets back down to the bottom. Hopefully he can make it. I think he probably can. Maybe not. We'll see if he can or not. So we're going to go ahead and get this unloaded. Um, the front one's full and he's going to be really full. speed up some so yeah this is kind of what I was talking about with dumping the first little bit in there is I won't be able to get him empty but hopefully he'll be able to finish the rest of the field with what he's got like I said it's probably only gonna be three full gravity wagons so not a lot and once we get this full I think we'll take it in and get it sold for a few thousand hopefully each wagons 30,000 and hopefully we can buy that field over there with a little bit of money. We do have our loan paid off, so that's all good. And we'll go ahead and take it into the shop. Near the shop. Rolling Hills Co-op. So, we went ahead and got this to the town. And we always either hit the back wagon or the front wagon in the door. So I found out you can unload too. So you can hit that button. Hit G. Hit that other button. And let them both unload and let the money roll in. So we're at 80... Yeah, we're not going to make 100000 No, we might. It's getting close. Just, just barely. Barely 100000 But this is 102000 plus what we got here. So I think we're going to go ahead and buy it. Just because I know then we'll, we'll be able to pay for expenses. Like fuel, seed, all that. We won't have to. Um, We won't have to go through and buy, you know all the other stuff and go into debt for the year so that's a good sign and looks like the weeds are going through imagine that i'm just getting that field cultivated and they're going to go through every time but anyway hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button and we will see you all next time